you know, people make a living out of being avant-garde. And I can make some of their albums. I've done it before under a different name. I can make some of that shit. Just give me some money and I'll just go off and make an avant-garde album, you know. It's fucking easy, actually. And punk is just easy. What's difficult is to write a song that people will remember in 10 years' time. That's difficult. A lot of people, you know, that's what I like to do. Slits her senseless skin Alphaville In time to fret her stare Alphaville I know you're always there Alphaville She's so debonair She's a manic depressive Alphaville She's a millionaire My bills are excessive I always thought we were a mainstream band. We were, we are, we are a mainstream band, but we had a very, very big live following. People now say, how come you weren't more successful? We had a really big live following, we just weren't in the charts. We're almost close to being a punk band, but not a punk band. So, um, and we had a very big skinhead following as well, you know? So it's quite a hard following we had. So people look back and they think, they look at Strange Boutique and they just see a very intellectual friend. And it wasn't really like that, not live, it was very hard sort of thing. But a lot of bands that we now consider punk at the time, they weren't considered punk, they were considered new wave. So everything was a melange of, of everything, you know. All, all um, types of people from all different social backgrounds, making all different kinds of music. And the one unifying thing was just to do something which was more relevant to young people. Because what this came out of was the kind of overblown pomp rock of the 70s. Um, <clears throat> yes, and things like Genesis, whatever, where you had to be really a very, very good musician to play. For young people, they didn't, you know, they couldn't do that. So they had to do something with the materials that they had, you see. Oh, take my heart and let it be to the sound of dancing feet. Then take those feet and let them glide. My baby sweet, gonna be my bride. I got a girl, she got a man. I didn't really like the whole scene of punk at all. I, I, initially, it didn't really mean a great deal. But very soon, an awful lot of bands... See, there were bands like the Vibrators. I don't know if you know them. I know, I've heard the original version of We Vibrate, which is, we vibrate, da, 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 da. then punk comes along, and now it's, they re-record it, and we vibrate, da, 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 da. Everyone was doing that. They were deliberately chopping their uh, clothes up and stuff like that. It was just all bullshit. So they were all just jumping on the bandwagon. I know what they were sounding like before, Stranglers and things. They were just pub rock bands. So it was, I suppose it was kind of a trap because they did it for, for kind of small commercial reasons. I wanted to write songs. So I wasn't interested in just making noise. So I wanted to do songs. But at the same time, yeah, I wanted to do songs and a lot of punk stuff was just the style, just style. I'm not really interested in doing stuff which is just style. like us to keep going because a lot of the indie record labels had uh, gone bust or they'd stopped doing things. So for a band like us, we didn't want to change what we were doing. We didn't want to become more commercial. Um, we stopped. So we did, in fact, the reason, partly the reason why I think that we still have so many fans is because we never changed. We don't look as if we could be from the 50s, could be from the 60s, 80s. We're not writing about anything from the 70s or the 80s, which is the songs are not about then, about any time. <laughs> 